Well, as bankruptcy proceedings continue for the Buffalo Diocese, tonight survivors of clergy sex abuse who are suing the local Catholic diocese in state court are celebrating a legal victory in federal court. Their lawsuits date back to 2020, and now they can move forward. And we're talking specifically about 17 test cases that are among hundreds that have been filed in state court as a result of the Child Victims Act. The diocese asked its federal bankruptcy court judge to keep those cases on hold for further mediation. But Judge Carl Buckeye wrote in his 16 page decision that was released earlier today, quote, the parties have had ample opportunity to work for a resolution. With each passing day, the lack of settlement suggests the need to try a different approach. Litigated disputes are often settled on the courthouse steps. By pushing litigants closer to a trial of tort claims, we hope that the parties may better appreciate their risks and the benefits of a consensual plan. A short time ago, I spoke about the significance of this ruling with attorney Stacy Benson, who represents abuse survivors. How do you describe sort of the significance of the ruling that we got today from this federal bankruptcy judge? This ruling is significant because the way that bankruptcy court is structured is when a debtor like the diocese files for bankruptcy, all the cases against it get placed on hold. And so all of the survivors, the 850 people who you know filed claims under the Child Victims Act and within the bankruptcy court, their cases have been on hold since the diocese filed. We've been basically in a stalemate and lost in the abyss of bankruptcy court for the last five years. And this is giving survivors an opportunity to hopefully move that forward. They've been through a lifetime of trauma already. Attorney Stacy Benson there told me that some of these local sex abuse lawsuits could make it to trial here in Erie County and State Supreme Court within the next year or so. All sides are due back in federal bankruptcy court next month.